up here in big bold letters. We've been running semi-permanent now. Semi-permanent is a creative conference, um, not dissimilar to Creative Sydney. It's um, about getting people together, inspiring people uh, by having creatives talk about their work and um, creatives from all over the world and Australia. Um, we've been running for nine years. Um, we've run 30 events in those nine years, so we've done quite a few events, eight different cities around the world. Um, Sydney, obviously, Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth, um, where else have we done? Auckland, New yeah. York, London. Yeah, we started, um, originally we started just in Sydney and then sort of each year we sort of added an event and now, now we're sort of running uh, between sort of seven and ten events a year. Yeah, so um, I won't, have to, won't go over the five countries, you should all know those. We've had 196 odd speakers um, who we'll talk a little bit more about and um, there's a couple of other stats that aren't all that particularly interesting and we don't have too much time up here, so... Um, what I've got here is basically a slide that shows uh, a lot of our speakers or we, as I mentioned before we've had 190 odd now so this isn't everyone by any means um, but some of the sort of I guess more prominent names or yeah. you know. Uh, we, we usually uh, like out of the, the speaker list we sort of pick different people who are sort of the heads of their respective industries and so you know obviously there's so much talent out there and there's so many great image makers and um, so we just kind of handpick all the people that we feel are sort of relevant at that time or, or sort of leaders or some people that, you know, are very well known or some people that aren't so well known. But, um, yeah. So a few, a few fairly prominent names there. Um, obviously, most of you would have heard of Banksy. He didn't actually speak at the event because he obviously doesn't really do that kind of thing. He doesn't um, speak. We wanted him to get a gorilla mask on, but, you know, he wouldn't do it. Uh, but he came to the first event and uh, did a big exhibition that I'm not sure if anyone here saw, but it was uh, pretty crazy. It was... Um, yeah, back then he actually replied to emails. Now, nowadays, who knows? Um, we've had you know some massive um, uh, animation companies or visual effects companies like Industrial Light and Magic and Pixar and Digital Domain. And we've also had sort of just you know people who work out of their rooms, like artists um, and and photographers and and people like that. Like Murray said, it's all it's not just about getting big names. It's about getting people who are really talented and uh, and producing interesting work. It's, and you know, as I mentioned before, it's about inspiring in people and making exciting people about art and design and, and sort of, you know, um, extending the culture of art and design throughout sort of the, the places that we do the events. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to hand it over to Murray here for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think um, just, just on Andrew, we're just sort of, as well as doing sort of semi permanent which is our main thing, we do a whole bunch of other little things. But um, we just kind of wanted to, as opposed to just talking about ourselves, which is incredibly boring, but um, we just sort of wanted to discuss like a thing, a thought that we had um, when we got asked to do the presentation about like these days obviously you get bombarded with information and bombarded with, with imagery and, and, and sort of basically headlines and um, I think we just sort of wanted to sort of talk about like um, the fact that sometimes it's nice to actually really go into detail and find out a lot more about the, the people we're inspired by and things like that. I mean, this up on up on screen now is a is a bunch of websites that we check every day, uh, like blogs and, and things like that. And obviously, they post a lot of information, a lot of imagery. Sometimes they don't really credit it to the people that it's really due to, and um, and it's all great and visually amazing and whatnot. But I think um, like with semi permanent and with the other things we do, certainly Andrew runs Empty and Take magazine, and it's just totally devoted to the artists and, and it gives you a much better experience and a better idea of where they come from and, and the importance of what they do. Um, so yeah, I, think it, sorry, yeah, I think it's just, um, like Murray said, we love these sites. I mean, we included our own in it because, we're, you know, the we're design is kinky here. We're a part of that, that world and we have been now for, I guess, 12, 13 years with design is kinky. But uh, I think, um, you know, it's not like we by any means are rejecting what these people do. We think it's amazing. But I think we, we've started over the years to want to see a little bit more and get a bit more from, from you know, uh, the information that we see rather than it just being sort of smacked into our face like tends to happen these days a little bit with television and all that, you know, stuff. Like, of course, we could turn it off, but, yeah. you know, who's going to do that? Um, so, yeah, so we're just trying to, I guess, um, do that with some of the projects that we run. Um, this is, yeah. These are, I mean, these are just, I mean... Just some images from the event. Yeah, but yeah, just sort of jumping back to, to Andrew's point there, like, I think it, it, it's depending on what you, what you want, what mood you're in or whatever, sometimes it's really nice to just be bombarded and just take everything in, but I don't know, I personally like, um, whether or not it's through semi-permanent or other things, I really like to find out about the artist or whatever. I think 
through some of the speakers that we've had at the conference, I mean, photojournalism is, is a big thing that Andrew's a massive fan of, I am as well. But, you know, you see these amazing imagery and, and even just the presentation we've seen just then, there's some amazingly great stories out there and, and it's sort of not until you, you do a little research and actually find out about, you know, what, what um, I don't know, drove that person to make that or take those photos or what positions they had to, to get in or, or what, I don't know, just, and, and then even, and then to go and actually give it to the world um, in what a capacity. I think, it, I think I feel a little bit more fulfilled by, by sort of knowing those things and... Yeah, that's why things like Creative Sydney yeah, and, great. and Vivid, the whole Vivid thing is great. You know, it's about, it's about that real world experience because everything's so sort of on, people check their phones more than they look around these days and yeah. I think sometimes it's nice to kind of put your phone down and go and see the Opera experience. House getting lit up or come and see some people speak and, exactly. and mingle with your other, other fellow creatives. So, um, you know, we're not trying to preach or anything here, we're just, just a thought we had, which we thought we'd share with you all. So. We should <laughs> have kept it to ourselves. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyway, um, I think uh, anyway, That's really yeah, we'd yeah. like to uh, say thanks very much to Jess and thanks to all the guys from Vivid um, and uh, Creative Sydney and um, thanks for coming out. Thanks very much.